Cataracts can sometimes be insidious. Not all patients are aware that they have cataracts. Not all patients are aware that their vision is reduced. I'd say at least 15 to 20 percent of people come in, they may not be aware. When I walk into a patient room, generally after I say hello and introduce myself, the first thing I ask is a very open-ended question. How are your eyes doing? How are you seeing? And um, like I said, maybe 20% of my cataract patients may say, I think I'm seeing just great. But then of course we look down at our file and how the patient read down the chart and they may indeed not be seeing well. So some people aren't aware. Other people, their kind of initial signs that they may have cataract would be, my vision just looks blurry. I can't see the little words running across my television screen clearly. I'm having difficulty with my night driving. I see halos around lights. It's hard for me to see the lines on the road when a car is coming at me. Um, another symptom is I'm having difficulty driving, or I'm sorry, I'm, another symptom may be I'm having difficulty with my reading. Uh, the print seems to be getting smaller. Uh, I need more light. I'm getting stronger reading glasses and I'm still having a problem. So a lot of times people do talk about difficulty with reading small print. Those tend to be the most common um, complaints with early cataract formation. There could be another type of patient that has a cataract in one eye and not a cataract in the other. Now typically cataracts form around the same time at the same pace in both eyes. but. There's uh, other patients where it's asymmetric. And so that would be a patient that may uh, notice it more um, obviously that, doctor, something is wrong with my left eye. I don't see as clearly with my left eye. Um, and of course, that will uh, come out in the comprehensive examination. Is it a cataract? Do they have a retinal problem? Is there something else happening?